Good evening. Welcome to LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, or El Filnas. Simbang Pinoy is our annual New Year prayer and fasting day number two. Days from January 4 to 8, 2021. Let's start with our reading of the word. Today is January 5, Tuesday. Isaiah 43, verses 1 to 5, about the restoration of Israel. Now this is what the Lord says. The one who created you, Jacob, and the one who formed you, Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And the rivers will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched. And the flame will not burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, and your Savior. I have given Egypt as a ransom for you. Kash and Seba in your place, because you are precious in my sight and honored and I love you. I will give people in exchange for you and nations instead of your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east and gather you from the west. Good evening. Tonight, Welcome to our lifestyle of fasting and an attitude of prayer. Question. Wondering if you're alone? Minsan ba naisip mo na ikaw ay mag-isa? Well, the season is difficult and trying. You give your best only to feel alone. You look for God's fingerprints on the child with the little hope you have left. In your feelings of loneliness... He seems so far and you wonder if he has left you. Sometimes we can go through the trials and wonder if God has abandoned us for better things to do or other people to take care for. I felt that many times and in my loneliness cried out to God for some glimpse of him. I want you to know that we've all felt that. Di ka nag-iisa. You are not alone. Even the great figure, Mother Teresa, felt distance from God. Alam mo ba, she once wrote, But as for me, the silence and the emptiness is so great that I look and do not see, listen, and do not hear. What I hope to leave you with uh, today is a promise that will carry you in your loneliness and trial. You might feel as though God has left you in your low point, but know that He hasn't done, He hasn't done so at all, and never He will. Look at what He tells us in Isaiah 43. It's so comforting. Sabi niya, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. Even you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, and the flames will not set you ablaze. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Let those words soak in for a moment. Hayaan natin magbulay-bulay at uh, magbabad sa puso natin ang salita ng Diyos ngayong gabi. Take in the precious words of the Father and know that even when you go through your greatest struggles, God is with you. He cares for you. Perhaps there will be times he seems far off, but we must take heart. There is a reason for emotionally feel distant. There is a purpose in everything God does. No experience, emotion, or trial goes wasted. He is working good on your behalf. When you do feel this way, however, Carry with you the promise that God is with you and He is working even if you can see Him. Remember, pray until something happens. Push. God wants us to exercise faith in Him. And remember the, the 
preaching last Sunday about King Jehoshaphat. When the Lord told them, Listen, all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat, that says the Lord to you through his messenger. The Lord told his message to the people of Judah and to the king. Sabi niya, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great horde or this vast army. Ito pinaka-importante dito. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Let us pray. If you have any prayer request, please comment down below. We wish to, we would love to pray for you. Our prayer focus for today, Tuesday, January 5, is about anxiety and depression. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you, Lord God, what is happening to this entire world. COVID-19, it's a pandemic, Lord God, and everybody's affected, Lord God. Europe was badly hit. Asia was badly hit. Now, the leading country, I guess, the U.S., here in California, we are so badly hit. In L.A., COVID-19 is everywhere. The thing is, we can't see our enemy. But you are more powerful than COVID-19. Lord, we lift up to you those people who are suffering from COVID-19. Help them, Lord God. Heal them. We lift up to you, Lord God, those people who are prone to COVID-19. Protect them, Lord God. May we, may we be fearless, Lord God, in, in uh, exercising our faith in going to church, but may we also not be reckless, Lord God. May we abide by the rules and regulations of the government. Teach us to obey you. Teach us to obey the authorities, Lord God. Lord, we pray that you end the COVID-19 as soon as possible. We thank you, Lord God, for the wisdom of the researchers, the scientists, and doctors who came up with the vaccine, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that uh, this will be a successful vaccination period and uh, this will be eradicated just like what you did with all other viruses and all other pandemics, Lord God. Lord, we lift up to you. Those people who are suffering from anxiety and depression and loneliness and feeling alone. You know, Lord, it is hard. It is these hard times. It this unimaginable, unexplainable times for all of us. Let's just lift up to you these people. You know, you know them by names, Lord God. I pray that you touch their hearts today. Lord God. I pray that uh, you minister them, you minister to them tonight, Lord God. Lord, we also lift up to you in prayer uh, for complete healing for the following people, your so brother Fedi, Lord God, in kanyang pancreas, Lord, heal him. Si Shela Torres, Lord God, he heal her cancer, Lord God. Si brother Gito Roraldo. We pray that uh, you, com you completely heal him, Lord God. Heal Ron Eric Zambrano, Lord God, from dengue. We pray for Sister Ayan and Sister Rachel that you completely heal them, Lord God. You are our healer, Lord, and we look up. To, we, 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 we come to you, Lord God, in all humility and ask all this. Heal them, Lord God. Send them your healing right now. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Good evening. Before we end some announcement, uh, January 4 to 8, annual five days of praying and fasting. We continue with our fast and our prayer. Uh, this from Monday to Friday. We have our nightly devotion. Do you need counseling and any prayer request? Just look for Pastor Bert. Online giving, type that link. Search for LA First Filipino Church. And happy birthday to Kayan, to Shelton, Tito Fe, and Leslie and Wedge. Happy birthday to you guys. 
And don't forget our fellowship schedule every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Walk through the Bible, virtual midweek live, Facebook and YouTube. This will resume on January 13. And on Friday, 8 p.m. Bible study and prayer party will resume on January 8. So, pagka naman gusto nyo magsimba tuwing linggo at wala pa kayong simbahan, we have our Sundays every 9 a.m. We have in-person at Wiley Chapel, and a virtual worship live at Facebook and YouTube. So you have a choice. You can go there in person or you can worship with us online. If you uh, wish us to go to our place, to Wiley Chapel in 3rd Street and Vermont in Los Angeles, uh, please forget uh, that we encourage you to follow these guidelines for the best possible way to love others in your return to LA Fieldness Church. Please wear a mask. Seating will be limited and please seat with those you with those who came to service with. Maintain physical distancing six feet apart from those who don't live within your household. Please keep three seats between households. Pick up communion, sermon notes, and drop off your tithes and offerings in the lobby prior to entering the worship center. If you are sick or have been exposed to someone who is sick, Worship with us online. Kids, youth services will be temporarily put on hold. Let me bless you tonight. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord, the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye.